Welcome back and welcome to challenge number three. We'll continue in our pattern of telling a short story to set up the challenge background, and then we'll dive into building out our flow. If you recall, in our last challenge, we helped Sherry, who is a service manager at Universal Containers, automate some data entry on the task object. She was thrilled by how well your automation works and impressed at how quickly you built everything out. She submitted another request to the Universal Containers Salesforce help desk, asking for more help automating other routine data entry for her team. In your career, as you successfully build out automation, you'll find people like Sherry asking for your help again and again. And that's an awesome thing because it means you're really making a difference. You assign the help desk request to yourself and you read the description to learn more. And so Sherry describes that while her team is working with customers in Salesforce, they need to create cases. And in order to provide the best service, her team needs to identify the primary contact for each account that the case is related to, and then associate that primary contact with any newly created case. And right now, the service team sometimes forgets to fill in the contact field on the case, or they enter a contact who isn't the primary contact into the case field. Sherry wants to know if you can build an automation to always find the primary contact and associate it with the new case. And naturally, as an up-and-coming Salesforce Flow Ninja, you know that you can do it. So we'll just do a quick kind of overview of what we learned from the case description. And this is always good to do, you know, when you do, you're going to go out in the world here in a bit and you're going to be building flows yourself. And so it's going to be good for you to kind of put uh, some of the key features together whenever you get, um, you know, an automation request. So in this case, there is a pick list field or there's a field on the contact object called the account roles field. And that uh, has not actually been built in Salesforce. We are going to build that custom for this challenge, but uh, that was what we learned when we were reading the case description. So whenever you're reading um, descriptions or requests for help, try to pick out some of the key fields that uh, the requester uh, is mentioning because it will give you more context on what they need you to build. We also learned that the service reps are using the case object and they're creating cases uh, to help universal containers customers and that there's some data entry that they need to routinely do and so they need to enter the primary contact which is a value in this account roles pick list field and they need to find that whoever that is for the related account and enter that name on the case and they're kind of having some trouble doing that and so the solution will be to automate it and so we're going to you know build a flow that will go find whoever the primary contact is and stamp that name onto the case and I guess just as an overview of what we're going to do next, um, we're going to do some pre-work where we build out that account rules pick list on the contact object. We are going to build a record triggered flow that uh, fires on the case object. We will you know, do some debugging on the flow, and then we'll recap and summarize the challenge. So let's get started in the next lecture with our pre-work. I will see you there.